Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Brad Status. So Brad Status uh, stars Ben Stiller as a white middle-aged dad who is mod uh, mid-class and he's sort of experiencing his son going off to college and while he's experiencing this situation, he's looking back and reflecting on his life. And Brad status is essentially sort of a character study for the character of Brad. How he's selfish and he's mean, but he's also very emotionally fragile. And you get to learn about him. The movie follows him as he looks back on all of his friends, how they became much richer. But the question is, did they become happier and did they become better people than Brad? Then he's looking at his son and his college friends and looking back on how he used to be as optimistic as they were. And it's sort of just... A, a combination of looking back on life, but really, the movie is meant to simulate a midlife crisis. In no stretch of the imagination is Brad's status a big movie. In fact, it is completely minute. It is hardly known. It was premiered in about a thousand theaters. It made a decent amount of money for what its budget was and what its demographic was. But really, this movie didn't make a big impact. The reviews were okay, but nothing great, which is not what you really want for these smaller style movies. So really, I went into Brad's status with zero expectations. I didn't really expect anything from this movie, which is maybe the reason that I liked it a little more than I should have. Brad's status is absolutely very flawed. It's not really as great as it thinks it is. It can drag. It can sort of be just a completely forgettable film, but I had fun while watching it. I was entertained, and even though the film just purely focuses on scenes of Ben Stiller sitting around and thinking, and they go into his mind a lot, and it's also about him talking to his son, I never got really bored in this movie. There was times when the pacing got too slow for the movie's own good, or just the fact that there's really nothing interesting happening, and it kind of wavered off, but that was very rare. I would say this movie held my attention fairly well, and I would say that it's something that you should give a watch. Should you rush out in theaters to see it? Absolutely not. It is nothing incredible. It does absolutely nothing new. It's the same film that you've seen multiple times. However, it is very sweet and it is very emotional. And the way that this film presents its lead character is very interesting. He's a very selfish guy. He's very self-centered, yet at the same time, he's not hard. He's very fragile, actually. That's something that Hollywood films can get wrong a lot. It can stereotype mean characters for characters that are hard and rough when really characters can be mean and self-centered while also being really light-hearted and really soft. And I appreciated that. And I also like how this film was able to present its lead. Even though he was completely unlikable, I still cared about him. That's an issue with a lot of movies that try to have unlikable leads, is that eventually you want your lead character to just go away, and all the bad things that are happening to him, you want them to happen. But you realize Brad is a guy who's going through something really rough, and even though he is a white guy, and he's complaining about the fact that he doesn't have a lot of money, he is still facing internal conflicts that are irrational. You can't really say that there's a strong reason why Brad is having these feelings, because he's fine. He made it successful. Successfully. He has a few friends, he has a wife, a wife that loves him, he has a son who's doing very successful. Overall, Brad is a successful guy, but it's just about him comparing himself to others because humans are flawed characters, and that's something that cinema definitely forgets a lot of the time. And Brad is more flawed than other people, absolutely, but you have to realize his flaws are what are making him feel so negative towards the world. It's not really his situation. It's nothing like that. It's his feelings that are irrational. And I like how I was able to feel sympathetic for him while also realizing that he's a complete jerk in certain scenes. And Ben Stiller did a great job communicating that. This was an excellent role from him. I am surprised how great this was. Because I know him as Guy from Night at the Museum. He's, he's typecasted himself as the guy who only does comedies, really stupid comedies. And he did this nice little movie that was very good for him. And he got to show that he can be a serious dramatic actor at times, and it works out very well. So overall... 
Brad's status focuses on one thing and one thing only, its lead character. And while it has some stylistic choices that are weird, and while it does absolutely nothing new, it is entertaining, it is enjoyable, and it will make your heart happy, and while also sort of making it sad. It's a bittersweet movie, but it, overall it is very enjoyable and very likable, and that is why I will give Brad's status a 7 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for Brad Status. What are your thoughts on this film, or what do you think of Ben Stiller's career? Comment in the comment section below, and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.